Hello again, Dakion here with day three of the April Bootcamp for the May Painting Challenge 2015. Today in glorious shaky hand cam. Uh, why is this, you wonder? Well, it's because the question of the day is show us your painting area. It's kind of difficult to do that from a sort of static tripod setup. So I'm going to try to pan as smoothly as I can across the area and not reveal too much of the surroundings because this is my kitchen table or, well, half of it, maybe 75%. Started out as half, slowly spreading out. You're seeing some minis in progress right now. And if I go around here, we have more minis. We have brushes, brushes, brushes. Lots of brushes for specific purposes. And we go across to paints, paints, more paints. And ooh, paints. And they go on forever. No, they stop there. And we go down and we can see some more paints. And here we have a few tools, paints, uh, mediums. Here we have some basing material lying behind the paints, some glue, glue and mediums and sticky tack and well, varnish and various other stuff. And a palette which I don't use much, my brush soap, there. We have a couple of cups of rinsing water. The large one is for normal paint, the smaller one for metallic paints. We have a paper towel and my, my sort of magnifying glasses that I use so that I can see small details. And below that, here is my wet palette where I mix my paints and well okay let's continue underneath the surface and you can here see here a ratty old t-shirt that I use to uh, wipe off my dry brushes a bits box and we have boxes upon boxes and paper bags and more boxes and some plastic bags over there all containing unpainted minis. So we come back to here. And let's see what else. What paints and brushes will you be using for your project? Well, um, you've seen them all. I mean, okay, as for paints, I have a large collection of every sort of paint range known to man. You will note that the majority of it is Vallejo, and the majority of that is game color. Um, the game color is okay. I, I have come to prefer the model colors, but since I bought the full range of game color paints, I still have all of them and I need to use them up before I rush out and buy new ones. And they work fine. As for brushes, I use many different brushes for different purposes. My, my current workhorse brushes are these, um, let's see here, the Games and Gears Pro Studio brushes, which are, are these double-ended things. I got them on a Kickstarter a couple years ago. Mm, they're still holding up pretty well. This is double zero. Uh, the brush I use the most is this, which is the single zero. You'll note that I use it a lot because all the text has been rubbed off the handle. But this is my work, oops. It still holds a point fairly well, though the camera refuses to focus on it. Anyway, that's that. But of course I have different brushes for different purposes. We have a lot of dry brushes. We have special brushes for metallics. You never, never mix uh, metallic and normal paint on the same brush or in the same water. Remember that, kids. And, well, that's my entire painting area, I believe. I don't think there's anything more to add, so I'll just sign off for today's episode.